Hi, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is all as well with everyone. This content that you are about to view may be offensive if you are easily offended, then please do not watch. My name is Carmela Binks. This must be a big time YouTuber, Sister Camilla. Yeah. Because she's in People Magazine. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what the, that type of stuff? I got to check her YouTube channel out see what type of stuff she do. But but uh, what's up with her, Sister Camilla? Now, YouTuber Michael Stauffer reveals she rehomed her son who have autism uh, two years after she adopted him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. You know what that means, people. What did I tell you that two represents? In the beginning of this year, you had um, 2020. I said what I said. I said it's going to be a rough year for fucking celebrities. It's going to be motherfucking them celebrities motherfucking dropping dead like flies. Left them fucking right. Not only celebrities was dropping dead like flies. Normal citizens was dropping dead like flies. Because why? You had the coronavirus. 2020. Take away the zeros and what do you have? Two. 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 Represents death. So... With this motherfucking damn Micah Staffa YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? Because let me tell you something. Anybody that's up there in a YouTube bracket, you know what I'm saying? Text bracket, motherfucker damn subscriber bracket, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that's up there, especially if you up there as much as to graze the cover of People Magazine. Hmm, you best believe, motherfucker damn, you done passed your soul to the fire of Moloch. Anyway, and yes, YouTubers can do that shit too. You know what I'm saying? So maybe some of your favorite YouTubers have passed their soul to the fire of Mola. This is how you can tell that they pass their soul to the fire of Mola. Look at them before and what they was doing before and look at them now. You will see a dramatic change in their career. That's how you can tell they motherfucking and pass their soul to the fire of Mola. But, um, this boy she adopted was part of her ritual. Now it's time to let the boy go. And now it's time for her to fly to bigger avenues in the satanic realm. But go ahead, Sister Camilla. Now, she said, do I feel like a failure as a mom? Like 500% Michael Stauffer said in a YouTube video. Uh, YouTuber Michael Stauffer and her husband James have announced that they have decided to rehome their son, Huxley, whom they adopted two and a half years ago. Now, the couple welcomes the now four and a half year old little boy who was later diagnosed with autism through an adoption from China in October of 2017. Now, why would you do that? You know what I'm saying? If you, if you, just like if I was to adopt a dog, you know what I'm saying? That dog is part of my family. I'm not giving that dog up because I'm going to love that dog, embrace that dog like, like family. If I adopt a cat, I'm going to do the same thing. If I adopt a child, that child is like family. If I give up that child, I'm giving up a part of me. The same way motherfucking them, every last one of these motherfucking them bitches I used to motherfucking date that got, well, yeah, that they got kids. I accepted their kids. I took care of their kids like my own. Why? Because he's family. To this day, the kids is grown and they still consider me their family. So why would she motherfucking adopt a child and two years later to give a child up? Ain't nothing but a fucking ritual. This was her ritual. 
Go ahead, Sister Camilla. Now, um, she said that once Huxley came home, there was a lot more special needs that we was not aware of and that we were not told. Jane said in a video, uh, Jane said to her husband. Now, for us, it, it's been really hard hearing the medical professionals a lot of their feedback and things that have been upsetting, he continued. We never wanted to be in this position, and we've been trying to get his needs met and help him out as much as possible. We truly love him. You know, let me tell you something. Adopting a dog is a big responsibility. What if the dog, you know what I'm saying, especially if you get a Rottweiler, when that Rottweiler get old, you know the the uh, downfalls and the faults of that Rottweiler? He gets the mains. You know what I'm saying? When you, you know what I'm saying, and you got the, and what you go, what you gonna do, motherfucking get rid of your Rottweiler because he got the mains? You know what I'm saying? If your dog gets sick, you gonna, you know what I'm saying, you gonna give him up because motherfucking him, the medical bills are too tough? How about your cat? You know what I'm saying? When you adopt a child, it's for better for worse. That's the same way if you are marrying somebody. If you are marrying somebody who got good health, what you gonna divorce him when the mother his motherfucking health motherfucking them deteriorate? Let me see. Let me ask Sister Camilla. Sister Camilla, mm-hmm. if you're gonna marry a man, right? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You and that man's in perfect health. When that man motherfucking them get old and decrepit and motherfucking them, he gonna have all type sorts of health problems. You gonna divorce him? No, mm-hmm. okay. The vows are very serious once again. Yeah, so, so it's for better it's for better or worse, uh, through sickness and in health to death do as part. And I don't think people really uh take uh that part serious. They don't. They don't. They just look at, you know what I'm saying, what they see. Oh, he's handsome. He's cute. I'm going to marry him. And then when motherfucker them, the going get rough and motherfucker them, the bank accounts are emptied and, you know what I'm saying, and motherfucker them, y'all living out of a cardboard box, you ready to motherfucker them, leave them. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the same way with a child. If you adopt a child, motherfucking them, you got to freaking them take that child for better or for worse. How you think the child feels? You, can you imagine being the child? You thought I this. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm, go ahead. I'm pretty sure he's confused, but eventually he'll adapt. Yeah. Can you imagine you being a child? You getting adopted by this wealthy YouTuber. This wealthy YouTuber, you think this is your mama. You calling her mom, you calling her husband, dad, and next thing you know, they give, they they split apart. It's kind of like when um the Mexicans was coming over the border and the kids was getting ripped out of the Mexicans' uh, uh, family's arms. And putting into uh, uh, they, they was getting separated at the border. Can you know how devastated that was? The kids don't know where their parents at. The parents is whining about their kids. That's a freaking them. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? If motherfuckers still follow this bitch after motherfucking them, you know what I'm saying? Seeing this shit, her doing this shit, because if she had give up on a child that she adopted. What else would she give up on? She'll give up on you. She'll be just like motherfucking them Joel Austin. You know what I'm saying? When the going gets when when the going is good, motherfucking them, that collection plate rolls around. But when there's a flood in Texas, what does Joel Austin do? Close up his church, leave the fo- flock to fend for themselves. Look at it that way. If this motherfucking bitch will give up on a fucking child, she would give up on you. That ain't somebody you want to. That ain't that ain't somebody you want to follow. Is that somebody you want to follow, Sister Camilla? When a go and get rough, they give up on you. I mean, not at all. But it's like 
they already had like three kids um, before they probably adopted him. Cause it looks like here they got one, two, three, and a little baby in hand. So that's four babies without this adopted child. It's like, why are they uh, adopting kids and they already got a boatload of them? Mm -hmm. I don't get that. Well, the reason why I, the reason why they adopted him, it was part of the ritual. It was part of her motherfucking them contract. It was part of her, you know what I'm saying, reaching the heights of YouTube stardom. You know what I'm saying? The baby comes along with it, and with with the baby being separated at the uh, um after two years, the number two means death. So it's death of you know what I'm saying, the relationship between the baby and her. And the birth of her new fucking life and her new career. Look at that. She graced the cover of people. That's the start of a new career. Have you ever seen a YouTube on the cover of people? No. You know? That's the start of her new fucking damn career. But I still think, you know what I'm saying? If you guys motherfucking want to still follow her after this shit, that's on you. Anyway, this is news. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Sister Camilla Bates on the ones and the motherfucking twos. Hit that like button, share button, comment board. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.